In this video, we're going to solve this nonlinear system of equations solution. In this problem, it looks like the best route to go is to use the elimination method. Basically, the question we ask is, what do we multiply this equation by so that when we add it to this one, the x's go away? Well, negative 2. If we multiply this first equation by negative 2, then when we add it to the other one, there it's going to cancel and we're going to get 0. So negative 2 squared minus 2y squared, right, multiplying by negative 2, and then 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And then here, below it, we're going to write this equation. So 2x squared minus 3y squared equals negative 12. So all we did was multiply the first equation by negative 2, and then we wrote the second one right underneath. Now, we'll, now what we'll do is add. So add. When we do that, these cancel. And here we get negative 5y squared. And here we end up with negative 20. To solve for y, we'll divide by negative 5. And that leaves us with y squared equals 4. And to solve this, we simply take the square root. And so we get y equals plus or minus 2. But we're not done. These are the y-coordinates of our solutions. Now we have to pick an equation and plug in these y-values to find x. Let's take the first one just because it looks easier. So we have x squared plus y squared equals 4. That was the first equation. And we'll start by plugging in 2. So when y is equal to 2... Let's be really careful here. We have x squared plus 2 squared equals 4. So x squared plus 4 equals 4. So x squared equals 0. Oh, wow. And you take the square root, and you just get x equals 0. So when y is equal to 2, we have one solution. That solution is 0, that's the x, comma, 2, that's the y. So that is one of our answers. To find the other one, we'll plug in negative 2. And it should be very, very similar. Let's see. When y equals negative 2, we have x squared plus negative 2 squared equals 4. Again, just putting negative 2 into this y value here. This is x squared plus 4 equals 4, and so x squared is 0, and then again, x is equal to 0. So exactly the same. So the other solution is 0, right, that's the x, and then the y-coordinate is negative 2. And that's it. 